Cotley Brewery Old Steamer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got another one from one of my favourite breweries, Cotley Brewery, based in Somerset, the land that is renowned for cheese and cider. I am a cider drinker, I drink it all on the day. They also do some blinding beer as well. And this is their old steamer. Now this was produced to commemorate the railway tradition of the West Country. And it was originally, I'm gonna have a little rant here, but it's in a clear bottle. This was originally in a brown bottle. I don't know why they put it in a clear bottle. Well, I don't actually, it's just to try and entice lager drinkers, I'd imagine. And it, it really is not a done thing because it can turn the hops and go skunky. I don't need you to, to tell you that, you knew that already. But that's, that's what it does. On the upside, you do see what you're getting and you can see that this looks like quite a good beer before you buy it, but it shouldn't really do it. There's no need for any brewer to put beer in a clear glass. I, you know, I really can't see the advantage. It's just pure marketing it does nothing for the beer in fact it is bad for the beer and i wish they wouldn't do it however they have and here we are on the label i'll just give you a quick close-up of the label on this all right now that is a train all right but if you can if you can get in the, if this autofocus starts doing what it's supposed to do and the threat of landfill tries to get it i don't know if you can see that there or not but what it says there it's 40 Commando Royal Marines. Now they've done that on that train. That is a genuine train, it does exist. They did that to commemorate the, the Royal Marines base in Taunton. And that was put on to the front of the train as a type of commemoration. And that is nothing new for the Great Western Railway. They're the ones who've done it. Before I start, I'm not a train spotter. I know fuck all about trains. I am not really into trains at all. I've got a couple of mates who were, one sadly died now, he was a massive fan of trains and he used to photograph them. And honestly, some of the photographs he took were absolutely amazing. He had a gift and he didn't know it. But anyway, um, the, the actual train naming type thing is nothing new. The Great Western Railway did that during World War II to various British warplanes they named their engines after that, which I thought was a really nice touch. But uh, they've they've done it on their Manor class engine. And uh, the number is 7828. If you're ever down that way and you want to pay it a visit, you can see it there. But if you can't, there is a beer that features it on here and it is the Cotley Brewery Old Steamer. Now just a quick word about Cotley. As I mentioned before, they're one of my favorite breweries. They do some fantastic beers. If you look on my channel, you will see a lot of reviews from the Cotley Brewery. I've also got one of their porters in, in the fridge and it has won gold awards and it, apparently it is really, really renowned as being a good one. And that doesn't surprise me. I don't think I've had a bad one yet from the Cotley Brewery. Everything they've done so far has been really, really good. But they haven't been going that long, well, I say they haven't been going that long. They've been going since 1979, which in, you know, the sort of it's neither sort of craft nor traditional it's just it's just where it is and they've grown since then but they've done really well if you look on the website you'll see all the awards that they have won for their beer they really know what they're doing and they do it well so that being said i really hope this doesn't let me down there because it is going to be such an anti-climax but let's get it investigated
Right, it's a 500ml bottle. It is 4.2%. It's a clear bottle. And that's why I'm talking quite quickly. I don't want the light to, uh, to, to, to skunk it. Not that it hasn't. It may have done it already. Uh, th there's not much on the side pertaining to the ingredients. So all I've got here is a bright golden coloured beer, smooth and malty with a background of honey flavour offering a refreshing and citrus smooth finish. That doesn't really give me any indication as to what's in it. Uh, brewed in Somerset by the local Cotley Brewery, Old Steamer has been specifically crafted to celebrate the West Somerset Railway Street steam heritage. The 20 mile line runs through the beautiful Somerset countryside between the Quarrock is it Quant Quantock Hills? I can't see my fucking eyes. The Quantock Hills and Exmoor to the sea. Taking in Isambard Kingdom Brunel's lovingly restored 10 stations. This is something for everyone from, Mur there is something for everyone. Murder Mystery, Cream Tea Specials and Camera Real Ale Festival and Santa Trains. And for that special occasion, savour the splendour. There is something for everyone from Murder Mystery, Cream Teas, Cream Teas, Specials, and Camera Real Ale Festival, and Santa Trains, and for that special occasion, savour the splendour of the Quantrock Quantoc Bell, and much acclaimed first class dining trains. All oh, right, okay. So, and they're promoting this train on here. Okay, I've never been on one of them uh, Pullman train type things. They look, I see them pulling into Victoria every now and again. And to be honest, I don't think they're for a rough bloke like me. It's not really my thing. They're all dressed up and punched up and all that. And to be honest, I don't own a suit. I don't own a tie. And I'm very proud of that fact because I refuse to wear them. I just don't feel comfortable. Anyway, enough about my fashion sense. Let's get this beer open. Right, it says to serve it slightly chilled, which it is. It's come out of the fridge and I've put it under the desk because it's dark down there. I don't want to leave it in the light. Call me paranoid, but that's just me. There is the cap. Right there. Oh, that does smell a bit skunky. Or is it the yeast? Right, there's a little whiff of skunkiness on there, which doesn't surprise me. I really wish they wouldn't put light colour beer, especially into clear bottles. That is fucking really stupid. Oh God, this doesn't look good. There's no head, very little carbonation. What are we getting on the nose? Oh God, after all that build up, I think this is gonna be a bad one. Christ. Well, you can get the honey, definitely. Quite sweet honey. And some floral notes as well. That is interesting. I'm going to give this an aggressive pour to see if I can get any type of head out of this whatsoever. Right, there it is. In the glass. Slightly cloudy. Uh, one finger white head, carbonation. Yeah, it's just honey. I want to I want to get this down the hatch ASAP. So let's stop guessing and let's get it down the hatch. <music> Cheers. Yeah, another go. That actually isn't bad. A lot of honey. Big, big honey on this, and they did mention that as well. There's some floral notes to it too. But what I'm noticing is the yeast in this. Whatever strain of yeast they use, they obviously use it in all their beers. And it's got a lovely twang to it, which gives it, I don't know, it gives it a very Moorish type of caramel 
and toffee. Now, I don't think it's the malts that's doing this. Obviously, there's pale malt in there, giving it that colour. They do make a thing about it being Somerset pale malt that gives it its light colour. But I am getting that yeasty, nice yeast interaction with that malt, which gives it, I don't know, it just really complements it. There's a touch of citrus on there and herbal notes, as I mentioned. But this is all about the sweet honey. I really should have called this a honey ale. And I have to say, I actually prefer this to a lot of the honey ales that are out there. Now, is it as good as full as honeydew? Mm. It's got more flavour, I will say that, but then you've got to realise, you know, honeydew is being brewed on a big scale. This is, I'd imagine, done in relatively small batches. But my initial misgivings were completely unfounded. That is a really nice beer. Now it is, there's not much carbon dioxide in this. It is quite flat. And that is making it sound, I don't know if you can see this or not, there's barely any bubbles in there at all. But this gives it a sort of, um, a cask type flavour, if you know what I mean. And all in all, it is super refreshing. Now I've, they say to serve this chilled, which I've done, and in the summer, I'm, I'm drinking this at the wrong time of year, this is October now, and it has been pissing now for the past three days. But I'll tell you something, in the summer, this would be a fantastic thirst quencher and refreshing alternative to lager. And I could quite happily drink quite a few of these. Lovely malty finish on it as well. That's coming through now, caramel malt and a touch of biscuit malt on there as well. This is Percy, by the way, he's down there. So if you hear any farting, snorting, snoring or growling, it will be him. And he better not fucking tip my guitars over. He, he tipped a guitar over yesterday, silly ass, trying to get comfortable. Anyway, uh, yeah, really good. This has got masses of honey some nice floral and citrus subtle flavors on it but the malt is there on the finish and it is really nice it's like a cross between a biscuit and caramel that comes right at the end but yeah all in all fantastic so what's the verdict on old steamer well i had some misgivings with the clear bottle and the the opening of it and not much not much fizz not much head etc it looked like it could be a duff bottle but i'll tell you something it is really nice i do like this it has got a lot of honey in it now if you're not a fan of honey beer then i would say avoid this it's not sweet though it's not like your european honey beers like the like the perlwa if you've ever tasted that, that is really, really sweet. It's not like that at all. You can get the honey flavour in there and it's like an organic type honey with that, well, with that honey type tinge to it, if you know what I mean. It's not an artificial sweet beer like a lot of these supposed honey beers are. And there's a fair dose of caramel malt and the biscuit malt on the back end, but it has got that characteristic yeast flavor from Cotley, which I absolutely love. It goes really well with the darker beers. With this, it's it's okay. It doesn't complement it as well, but it's still a good beer. I really like this. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. It's not gonna be my usual 10 out of 10 because um, it's just, it, it hasn't got the moorishness of the other beers. But don't get me wrong, it's really refreshing. It's a summer drink, basically, and it's really nice. So I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10, and I'm gonna recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.